Hello, my name is Solo Ninja, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, we're going to play some more Motorsport Manager and our Aston Martin Let's Play. And then, well, in this episode, it's the final race of the season in Doha. As we look at the calendar, with yep, there we are, final race of the season in Qatar. I believe that's the flag of. I could be. Wrong, but as we have a quick look at the standings, we could finish well, third place in both the drivers and the constructors, which would be, I think that's a really, really good result for us this season. I mean, we can't overtake and finish second, but, but if we can finish third in the drivers and constructors this season, well, you know what, I will be a very happy person have a quick look at the car improving parts I can't click on at the moment because i probably still need to repair everything if we take a look at our pit crew we need to swap some people out let's put you in home have a fully fit team for this final race Fitness is key, I think. Somebody can do it's got another 20, he's good on energy like you. I see my two guys. And you. So we've got a fully fit team for this race. Two of them have made mistakes before in the past, but hopefully that won't happen in this race. Have we got any sponsors? No, we don't, but we do lose. No, we don't. We've still got 23 for them. Wow. Aston Martin's still got two. So yeah, we've still, still got sponsors happening. Of course, we can look for well, new parts. I mean, that engine needs... We can't use that engine for the next race. That engine, yes. Everything else we can use. But that engine is just a no-go. That's really close. I keep upgrading you. That one, we're not going to get enough, so we might as well keep doing that, actually. I, I, we can't use that engine. Can we? His contracts are running down. These contracts will butler or butler. I mean, is the race, is the race mechanic going as well? No, so you're going to stay. We could just replace these two. Stroll. And Danny Rossi. It depends. Does he want more money? I mean... Okay, he's not interested in renewing the contract. That's fair enough. Still looking at... Yeah, Russell, Ocon, and Album. I mean, I'm still tempted to go for... Even Pierre Gasly would be good. I mean, Pierre Gasly is better than... But George Russell is two years younger from everyone else. But this is what I have to do for the next episode, is have a quick look at everyone who could potentially... Well, make it... As our new driver for next season, because I'm gonna make now Stroll won't be here next season, unfortunately, because it, it, yeah, just 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 no with Stroll, unfortunately. I know it's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. But anyway, let's move on to the final race of the season. 
Everybody's fit as parts, but we probably have to take out the engine on Stroll's car. Give him that one just for this race. I feel like that's the best thing in anything which we can really do, really. So yes, I will will continue and I will see you at qualifying. So here we are, finally at qualifying for a very important qualifying session. And we may do what we, we've done in the past, actually. Let's see if we can try and get on. Oh, we'll try and get into the second qualifying session on a set of the slightly slower tyres. Which has worked out in the past for us. So let's now try and do that tactic again. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well... It gives us a rough idea of what our race pace could be against people on just the soft tyres. Oh, that was quite a good lap there from Fatal, actually. I found we meant Fatal is throwing, no matter what, but Stroll's having to go out. Let's try and risk it on a set of used. On a set of used softs. If it doesn't go quicker, I will be slightly concerned. Yeah, he's got the race pace. I know he didn't. He didn't go faster. Strolls out. Okay, that's 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 probably my fault for not putting him on. Well, a quicker engine as well as a fresh set of soft tyres, but he's out of the race. There we go, not out of the race, but out of qualifying. So it's Maspin, Stroll, Latifi, Hockenberg, De Costa, Kafiat, and Fern. But yeah, that's now already. I that's really opened my eyes now. But Fatel. It's our main man again. He always has been. Let's go on the set of used. Oh, do we just risk it? I feel like this man we go. Because we still go quicker. That's what I'm predicting. We will go quicker. The problem is it's such a long lap as well. So it's actually a second slower. And I expect us now to go quicker on a set of the better rubber. He says, fingers crossed. We did go quicker, Paris. Oh, we're out. We are out in both sessions. Oh no, this is not good. We failed to reach our target for the final. Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Finish 12th. So it's Raikkonen, Vettel, Sainz, Ocon, Jane, Etsy, Schumacher, and Russell. But my word, the two people who we don't want to be on top our top of the race. So let's just simulate the session. First time we actually had to push this button. So 
it's actually not too bad actually. Why did I feel like we've gone quicker from their final lap time? We actually did go quicker from them, 14.9. We would have gone quicker from Sergio Perez, but that's very disappointing. To even been out qualified from an Alfa Romeo as well. My word, what a terrible result for us. We may actually... Risk it with... Um... Stroll to go on the slightly harder compound actually. How many how many races? 57. So you expect to um, two softs on one little medium. That sounds about right. Let's now go to the race with Hamilton, Botas, Alonso, Gasly, Verstappen, Ricardo, Leclerc, Norris, Perez, Yerke, Raikkonen, Vettel, Sainz, Ocon, Giannazzi, Schumacher, Russell, Maspian, Stroll, Latifi, Hockenberg, Da Costa, Gafiet, and John Eric Fern to roll up the back of the grid. Well, what can we do here? Not a bad start. Can we get in the inside? Can we go in front of one of the McLarens? As long as we just... Is it like 10 points? Or 9 points? Don't know why, but I'm always expecting Norris to go backwards. Verstappen's got a problem with his car as well. There's still a chance to finish further in the constructors. And the drivers. Got both cars. Come on, Vettel. Unfortunately, no, down the inside. We've now been overtaken. We have Ricardo. Please get a penalty, Ricardo. Please. Oh, Ricardo's got a penalty. Yes. It's actually really big news for us, actually. Let's now begin pushing these tyres just a little bit. We're in the back off, Ricardo. In that race pace, we're kind of alright. So there goes Ricardo. Does not actually lose that many places? Only uh, back into 12. I guess it's still places at the end of the day. We well, really need to get past Alonso here. I spent a bit of fool to try and get past Alonso. It's not Paris who overtake us. Back around Paris. Come on, we need to get past Alonso really quickly. I don't know what happened there. Oh, he's locked up and lost tire pressure or tire wear. Don't even know why we need to race Alonso. At the moment, Alonso's not really a threat to us. I've just realised that, that we're kind of racing Alonso for no apparent reason. Back around the outside. Do we keep it? Yes, we do. It's a long way. And race pace is good at the moment. Race pace is really good. Oh, well, how good is it? 
Actually, it's very good. That's what I like to see. And I'm happy just to stay behind and answer for the whole entire race. Just as long as the McLarens don't catch up. Well, I'll be kind of happy. Let's go to speed 12. Let's go past my spin. I'm actually really happy just to stay behind Alonso. And race pace is good. I can guarantee you, like Alonso will have to come to pits to do repairs on his car. Yeah, our Ricard is beginning to pit up. Some of the pace. Come on, Shaw, get past. The Ricard is coming to the pits to repair. That's better news for us. The more Ricardo goes backwards. And Norris as well. I'm not sure struck down to 14th, that's okay. Some are still going quicker. So we can get to about lap 20. On these tyres. Yeah, a lot of cars in front of us are now having to come into the pits to get repairs. Oh, a collision with Botas. Is everything okay? Everything's okay. How come I don't get a penalty? That's what I just want to know. You actually don't lose much time, actually. I mean, 50... Hopefully you should be able to push these sides until the end of the race, really. Actually, Fatal can just go out to the end of the race, actually. And we'd be in an okay position. Things actually begin to look really good for us. Constructors and drivers. Man, it's only Ricardo in the points. Norris is down in 16. Miles behind everyone else. We're in, we're in no race to catch up the cars in front of us. As long as we just beat the Reynolds, Reynolds, the McLarens, then we should do absolutely fine in this race. Actually, things are looking really nice. So Verstappen's got on some softs. Question him, what's the card condition like for? You're all right, apart from your um, suspension or gearbox. Whatever it is. So maybe you can get to lap 30. So we are slowly gaining on Alonso. Looks of all these lap cars. Stroll, now Stroll now comes in. He could even, no.
And the engine's looking okay, car's looking really good. You could probably push high on Stroll's car. Oh my god, you have really cool that. Oh, we've overtaken. There's no way in hell we can catch up here, Gasly, is there? We may even be able to catch up with, with Verstappen. That's much quicker. No, Pierre Gasly's storming away. We can actually get to the end, I think, on the medium tyre. Okay, now we're going quicker then. No, we're not. Gasly's just on a quick lap. John Eric Fence had to retire. Which I don't know what that, that means. Manor will go down, actually. I thought the team's Manor will be the team as you get relegated. We are beginning to catch up with Verstappen. A bit of me seem to do we now just pit. Okay, exactly now going to pits. Let's now pit. Let's put you on some medium tires and just make you go fly out to the end of the race. And Gasly's retired. Well, oh, okay. That's really good news for us. Next, we're in 11th, so we will go up into 10th place, actually. I'm just happy just to keep Fettel doing what Fettel's doing, really. He's got a good lead. Over Alonso. And Ricardo's really the only threat towards us. I think as things stand, we're, we're going to finish third in both the drivers and the constructors. Which will be such a great thing to happen for us. Oh, Ocon's retired as well. Did not notice that. And Hamilton coming to pits to discover that fastest lap. That's really nothing. Okay, we do have Botas behind us. Leclerc's clerk, pitted. Okay, now we're into 8th place. Okay, safety car, safety car. I could fix the engine. You might as well do that. Fortunately, Stroll's just gone right past. To just get you to pit. I'll just keep get new parts on. I know we may have lost third place, but I honestly don't mind too much. We're still in ninth place, actually. So 
So of course when the car comes in, we can then just go flat out until the end of the race. Oh, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> to go flat out. I hate when cars try to unlap themselves, it's really annoying. There goes the safety car. Come on. That mana racing is really annoying. Sign to second. Sign to second, Alice into second. Question is, can we fight for the lead? Come on, get a victory in the final race of the season. Come on, Vettel. At least get the quickest lap of the race. We're in sixth place with Stroll, actually. I don't think Fettel's got enough in the car to do it. Oh, driver mistake. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We don't go quicker. Can we, can we just get faster slap at least? Come on. No purples. Oh man, but enough for second place to end the season like that. For me, it's really, really good actually. I'm really happy with the result there for the team. A happy good result. A second and a sixth, wasn't it? Or was it a fifth? Or was it even a seventh? Second and seventh. That's still a good result for the team. It looks like a seventh. It is a seventh. Did he get overtaken on the final lap? But what, it's a good result for us. I'm not going to lie. Did anybody get penalised? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Actually, Sergio Perez and Kafia actually did. Very bizarre to do that on the final race of the season. But there we go. Another second place. And another good result for us, which means we do finish third. In the constructors in the drivers championship and as well as the constructors championship and to be honest we're only 31 points behind red bull that's a pretty good result not gonna lie there that's a fantastic result for us and i am am um, well completely over the moon with that fantastic result Some juicy money coming in. Plus all the money for coming third. Do we get driver's money as well? I'm not too sure, but there we go. Hamilton's the 2021 Drivers Championship winner. A Mercedes represented by Mercedes. Mercedes won constructors of the constructor championship. There we go, another fantastic 
I guess another fantastic season of Formula One, really. But my word, what a good race from our team again. And another fantastic result there from our team. Something which we can be really happy for. And look at all those new the upgrades coming in for next season. Things are beginning to look really, really good. Stroll can go. He can go. Let's do the interview. Um, let's talk about the race. He's happy about that. Perfect, perfect. Any jobs available, potentially? It's just on these. I'm surprised that nobody hasn't got the sack just yet. Which is kind of interesting. But anyway, this will be a, an, this brings an end to this episode and well for this season. So if you enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like. Any comments would be appreciated. If you're new around here, like the content which I make, well, make sure to subscribe to get more daily content. Until the next episode, see you later.